Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. I am here with baby Noah. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe by smashing the red button. Make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notifications, to be a part of the notification squad. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And also guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. The name is still the same, it's Serenity Smith. And um, also, if you want to join the chatterbox, please make sure you click the link in the description bar. We will be doing another live stream this week, more than likely like Wednesday night. Um, I will be doing a Q&A. Um, and also, um, if you want to get merch, the link is also in the description bar. So... Um, like I said, I'm here with baby Noah, and a lot of you guys should know who Noah Poo is. Noah is the Willow Asleep by Claire Teller. He is the prototype number three, and uh, which means he is totally completed by um, the sculptor. Um, and, well, that's not what a prototype means, but that's what this prototype means. <laughs> so, um, anyway, um, I'm going to get him dressed. You know, I bought some little things. Like I said, I bought some things for the babies. And there was a haul that was in my, um, in the chatterbox. I am, some of the stuff I, a few things that I bought is going to go with Finn um, when he's done. And then um, some of the stuff is for my personal babies. And I've actually placed another order. So um, I won't share everything that will come in Finn's box opening uh, when he goes home, which won't be a whole whole lot. You know, I just do regular box openings, um, but we're not gonna get into that. So, like I said, I will be doing a Q and A. Um, I got quite a bit of questions um, asked. If you guys have any questions that you would like for to be asked um, and you're in the chat box, go under the community tab in there and leave your questions so that when I go live, I'll have all the questions and we will we'll talk about it. So, Mr. Noah will be wearing his Tigger Poo. Tigger Tigger Poo. Um, and um, you know, people ask me all the time, like, which one is your favorite, the sleeper or the awake? I'm naturally a sleeper person. Um, I rarely really fall, fall for an awake baby, but I really did fall for the awake willow, um, a lot because, um, it does, it's cute and it looks like my, um, my children. Um, so I really, really, um, love the, the Willow Awake and the Sleep. Um, and, um, but so one of the questions, I want to an answer it here, um, with you guys. I'm not going to answer all the questions here. I'm going to answer the rest in, in the chat box. But one of the questions which was a really hard question. I had to really think about this and I'm still kind of thinking about it even right now. I keep questioning my answer. Um, it was, have you ever had, a, which baby, have you ever had or which baby have you, did you have that you really, really thought other than pup would be forever and that you would never sell, but you did. And to be honest, without a shot of a doubt, Puck was never to be sold. Um, that one, I definitely know that was one that I would, I thought I would never sell. Now, I'm going to answer this question truthfully because a lot of times we come on and we be like, oh my God, this is forever. I love him. I love her. And, you know, it's like. You know, you, you, you love him, you love him, you love her, you love, you know, you love them, and you, and you think it's going to be forever, but something deep down, 
you feel like mm, I kind of wish this was different and it keeps nagging you and you know that one day it's gonna go I've had those moments um, it's not something that you know I openly share um, but there has been babies well not many that I really thought I would never sell I, I really really thought I would never sell um, one of the babies, you know, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be truthful for a long time. I felt that way about Kingston. I thought I'd never sell him. I really did. I thought that Kingston would be a forever, ever, ever baby. Um, although when I first opened him, I was in awe of him, but um, there was a little bit of like, I don't know, is this really, you know, I wasn't 100% sure, like it wasn't like when I opened Puck, it wasn't like, oh my God, like, you know, um, so, but I loved Kingston so much and I thought, I would keep him forever. I got so used to having him and stuff like that. And, um, but, you know, I just didn't, um, I didn't keep him. And, well, I, I, there were things that I wanted different. And so at some point I, I thought in my head in order to get, something different I would have to let him go but honestly I didn't really I didn't really really want to let him go I really think I really feel like I was I can't I can't even go into all that but I I really think that's one baby that I would not have let let go you know despite any types of things that you know like I wasn't really fond of the of the way his jointed neck was um but I would have still kept him I feel like I still would have kept him because I loved him so much I really did I loved him um especially like his face oh my god he had the face painting like um like puck like that it's something about the painting style that she did on their face so yeah that's one um i think i did at some point you know i did have some things but the one baby that i really really thought i would never get let go and um was um liz my gabigail by Claire Tyler. I thought I would never let that baby go because she looked so much like my oldest daughter. I just thought I would never let her go. Um, and, but there's a lot of babies that, there's a, a quite a bit of them that I regret letting go. Um, it's not that I had in my mind that I would keep them no matter what. Um, it's just that I just regret letting them go. Um, and that's the difference. Some babies, I know that if I have to sacrifice them, they would go. Um, Serena was one that I wish that I had never, um, let go. She was the Jenna by Claire Tellum. I really wish that I had not let her go. That's, that's for sure. Um, Yeah, so that that's one. Um, I really like Taylor. Um, I, you know, I wish I would have kept Taylor. Um, I I do. I I I regret selling Taylor. I regret selling Taylor and Jenna. Um, Who else? Reborn wise, I regret selling my Everlay. 
that was painted by Marlin Sweet Dreams Nursery. I really regret that. I've always regretted that. That's one baby I wish I would have never sold. Um, I'm trying to think. Look at him. And his little hat. <laughs> I'm trying to think who else. Reborn wise. That was definitely one. Um, Justice. Um, he was Larry by Natalie Blake. Um, I, I, I wish that I had never sold him. There's, you know, so that that's just a few to to um to name, but for the most part, once I sell the baby, like I go through the motions of not really wanting to sell the baby, and then when I sell the after I sell the baby, it's kind of like okay, once the money come in and I get the baby that I'm trying to bring home, because usually that's what the case is, or sometimes even I don't have to get the baby. I just once I get the money and it hits my account and all is well, I'm like okay, off to the next thing. You know, I'm not, I'm perfectly okay. So, um, you know, I know, I think, and then the one, and this wasn't a question, but I'm going to, I'm going to say this. There, there's one baby that I think I lingered over selling the most, I would say, would be Jade. I so many times often wish that I had not so her too um and i've often wanted to buy her try to buy her back which her mommy's never gonna let her go but i'm um i don't know i'm i'm you know i i i tend to get past it i mean you know a lot of times we get especially if you're a youtuber and stuff like that a lot of people um really um, guys, and this, sorry, this is a um, one to two month size clothes So, And he fits it really good. I was, that's what I was trying to figure out too. Like how well he fit, what size is the best size. I think, um, so I think this is a really good size for him. The one to two month is their size. So, but yeah, I, I, I think, um, when you're like on YouTube or you, you have a baby on, you know, social media and, you know, very active in the community, people get really upset with you when you sell your dolls sometimes, or people make you feel guilty about selling them. But at the end of the day, they are dolls and, um, they're very expensive. And unless you're, you know, very wealthy, you really can't hold every single doll so um you know it happens but you know i totally understand it because there's babies that i follow for a long time and then when they mommy sell them i'd be like no <laughs> you know and you know sometimes I, I can go on and follow them with the new mommy um but a lot of times that don't be the case because there's a lot of people that don't do youtube and there's a lot of mommies that's more private and then you know so sometimes it's not the same you know there's a whole bunch of different things that happen when babies switch hands but i really really um enjoy them and you know it's funny because i you know like with um for instance with puck a lot of people love puck you know, especially because of this Puck series and stuff like that. Guys, if you haven't checked that out, it's in my playlist. But um, his mom is Sansan on YouTube. But the good thing is, is that it's so refreshing because she actually posts him more than I did. She show him more. And I have a bad habit at babies that I plan to keep forever. I don't show as much. As you guys see, I've kind of drawn back. You don't see Noah as much as you used to. He, he's a baby that I plan to keep forever. So, you know, I, yeah, um, because of what happened and the way I felt for so long when I, after I sold Kingston, um, I just don't want to ever, you know, do that again. And that's why I just feel like I just won't ever 
sell, sell Noah because when I sold Kingston, it took forever for me to try to fill that void of, you know, in my collection. And it was like, every baby just didn't quite do it. I needed that African-American boy, you know what I mean? You know, I, you know, not biracial, not light skin, you know, I needed that chocolate African-American boy to fill that void. And, you know, I feel like I got everything that I wanted and some because, you know, he had all the things that, you know, I don't know, but he, you know, but it's funny. He, he has some of the thing, the same things that, um, you know, that Kingston had as well. Um, it's just, you know, I, I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys are finding your dream babies out there and you're happy with your collection. And, you know, it would be nice to know if you had babies that you, um, did not, really want to sell and had to sell for unforeseen circumstances or whatever the case may be or even what baby if that you could bring back if you if you could if you if you could bring back any baby in your nursery at zero cost which baby would it be that you would bring back i'll tell you which baby would be my choice my choice would i would bring jay back if i could bring any baby back i would bring jay back Anyway, thanks guys for watching again. See you guys later. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram.